All right, everyone. Uh, welcome to today's charting session. Sa mga hindi pa po nakakaalam what we do here is we typically look at either yung mga trending names, uh, meaning sila yung mga pangalan na malaki yung ginalaw, whether to the upside or to the downside, or perhaps malaki yung value traded, or in general na mas minamatahan lang ng mga tao. <laughs> uh, also, tumatanggap din po tayo ng mga chart requests. No? So if meron po kayong mga requests, uh, please feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Okay? Uh, as I mentioned yesterday, wala po tayong highlight stock of the week because nothing's piqued my interest just yet. But don't worry, if magkaroon, uh, I'll be sure to let you know. Okay? Uh, let's start today off with Wilcon, no? So, what's been going on with Wilcon? As we discussed before, we have, diba, uh, high, low, diba, tapos lower high, lower low. So, are we possibly forming another lower high here, pushing downwards? We need to wait and see, no? Kung mabasag yung 27 pesos, then that opens up this range beneath with support waiting at around 25.3. And if mabasag pa yan, then likely either we come back and maigulo tayo kung nasaan yung area of previous consolidation dito or perhaps come back to this inflection point here where there was previous resistance turned support. Okay? However, if we push to the upside and mabasag natin tong 30, let's say mag-reverse, no? So, nag-form ka ng at least short-term na low, high, higher, low. Kung nabasag natin yan dito, then we're looking for possible pullbacks to possibly get us into a trade that leads us to 31.5 next resistance up to 33.7. Okay? Possible then na if we break 30.2, wala nang pullback, pullback. Diretso na kagad tayo sa next resistance level at 31.5. Then if mabasag yon as mentioned kanina, 33.7 yung next na resistance natin. Okay? Uh, next, tignan po natin yung Aldi. So Aldi, as I mentioned uh, in numerous occasions, no, uh, hanggang at the very least, we don't start trading above yung IPO price natin. Or, mabasag altogether tong 55 cents, meaning maghanap tayo ng bagong low and we're starting to uh, do another area of price exploration and so on and so forth. No, uh, There's really not much to do other than maghintay. Kasi buying right now, yes, pwede nating sabihin na nag rin siya, no? but ang pangit nung chop niya. Eh. Uh, it's hard to really say na, oh, basta pagmamili ako dito, lalabas ako 67 or lalabas ako 73. Diba? Kasi ang hirap nung situation, ang pangat ng itsura nung chart as of right now. It is looking like it wants to go tag tong support natin beneath. So if 55 breaks, as mentioned, uh, bagong area of price exploration na naman tayo, we don't know where it's gonna land. Baka mag 50, baka mag 45, baka mag 40, what have you. Okay, so I would rather wait and see na either kung mangyari man yon, or perhaps we can break above tong 67. And if we can break above 67, we open up this range above from 67 to 73. Kung nabasag yung 73, 77 yung next potential target natin, followed by 85. Okay? Um, but for now, uh, things are not looking great. Yes, we can say na, and then nagko-consolidate naman siya dito. And it's always possible, no? Na konso, then break to the upside, and so on and so forth. But... The opposite is also true. Remember, pag tumitingin tayo ng mga ganitong konso, usually kapag nasa taas, sinasabi natin mag break out tayo to the upside, di ba? So dapat pag ganito, ganun din. We're looking at a possible break to the downside. So konting ingat lang po if you're intending to trade all D. Okay? Uh, next, tignan po natin yung house. Now, house has been moving to the upside uh, ever since yung lumabas yung balita na uh, nagbabalak sila mag-re-IPO or mag-FOO, no? Uh, yung price is up to 18.99 daw. Okay, so maybe that's why the market is moving up. We're trying to catch up. But at the end of the day, uh, hindi pa final yun eh. First, hindi pa naman approved yung the whole FOO thing. Next, hindi pa approved yung final price. Next, uh, hindi natin alam gano karaming shares ba yung intend nila ibenta, paano itong madadilute post uh, re-IPO or post-FOO. Now, it's why I haven't made a video about it yet kasi masyado pang maraming detalye ang kulang. 
Diba? So, personally, as I've mentioned numerous times in the past, kapag maraming mga ganito, yung mga dashes lang sa chart, I, in- I typically don't trade those type of charts. So, this is no exception, no? I realize it moved up, ganyan. Medyo hindi rin kasi uh, sobrang taas yung volume nito. So, mabilis din siyang natutulak as evidenced by the move up here. If you intend to trade this now that we've broken above 12 pesos, one thing you could look for is if mag-pull back tayo pabalik nitong 12 pesos area or even hanggang dito around 11.2 around this area here, no? Hanap kayo possibly ng bullish price action to help you get into the trade. And then from there, let's see if we can push targeting 13.08 next and if mabasag yon, possibly filling in this gap. Okay? After that, wag muna natin pangunahan yung sarili natin. On the flip side naman, if let's say price reverses, eats up this strong move up. Diba? Diba lagi ko sinasabi na usually mga strong move na ganito, kapag ka, uh, wala namang malakas na fundamental driver, hindi na sustain. And usually kapag binabalikan siya, ganyan din. Mabilis ang pagtaas, mabilis din ang pagbaba. So if this is eaten up, tas nabasag pati tong 10.32, I think we come back to this lower range here. And if mabasag yung 9.10 from there, then ito naman, hanggang 7.8. Okay? Uh, for now, okay, kung nakasakay kayo, then of course, congratulations, no? Be sure to trail your stops lang accordingly para kung mangyari man yung ayaw nating mangyari, hindi po natin ibabalik sa market yung kinita natin, or at least not all of it. Alright? Kung hahabol pa lang, again, konting ingat lang, uh, para, diba, sabi ko nga, okay lang, hindi makasakay, wag lang maipit, diba? <laughs> okay? Okay lang maiwan, wag lang maipit. Now, moving on, uh, FA. So, let's check out FA. We haven't looked at this in a while and nothing's really changed, no? We are trading within this range right here. And we are at the lower half of that range. So, we're still looking for the same thing. If mabasag tong 49 to the downside, then we're looking for the gap to possibly fill from before. Okay? If mabasag naman to the upside, mabasag tong 62, then we're looking at this range here from 62 to 79, which is a very tradable range, no? Um, that said, kahit na mabasag yun to the upside, we need to remember na mga may minor resistances din nag-form along the way. But for now, um, I'm not entirely sure why this was requested. Dapat yata kapag may nag request kailangan isama na rin bakit eh. Para lang alam ko kung ano yung mas tinitignan ko. Um, for now, it's still ranging. We don't know what it's gonna do from here. But overall, it is in a downtrend. So, we assume na until the trend is broken, pababa pa rin tayo. Okay? I realize that there are exceptions to that and there are trade uh, trade systems or whatever parameters that you can use to trade this moving forward. It's just that kung hindi kayo talagang nakatutok, then this might not be for you. Alright? And then finally, tignan po natin yung SPNEC. So SPNEC, uh, darling of the market, no? So let's just check the 30-minute time frame. So obviously, tuloy-tuloy, pagtaas, pagtaas, pagtaas. We're not gonna discuss that anymore. Ano nangyari dito? As we moved up, nag-form tayo ng high. We broke beneath these lows here. Strong move. Then we pushed to the upside, tapos nauntog tayo sa area of previous consolidation na to. Now we're moving to the downside. So ang tanong, is this gonna consolidate here? Is this perhaps gonna form some sort of flag here? Or is this gonna break to the downside? If it breaks to the downside, mabasag tong 1.99. Then pwedeng mabalikan natin itong previous gap na unfilled from before. Even all the way dito sa minor area of consolidation na to. So we could pull back there. All the way hanggang 1.67. And if we do, I think that would be an interesting area no, to look for potential reversals whether bounce trade yan or whether uh, continuation trade the overall trend remains to be seen. Depende kasi. Um, it always depends on what the structure looks like. Should it do what you think it might do? Diba? Siyempre, di naman natin kontrolado yun. Di mo na pwede sabihin na, ande, dapat head and shoulders yan or something. Or dapat pagkarating dito maging ganyan. All we can do is see if may mag-set up ba in accordance to what we want and if meron, handa tayo dapat itrade yun. So if we get a pullback down here, 
Okay? Uh, we want to see kung mag-hold dito up to 1.67. If pati yan mabasag, then this gap might fill from before then all the way hanggang possibly filling in this range here hanggang 1.8 or 1.48 uh, sorry to 1.5 na area. If however, from here, okay, let's say ganyan, mag-hold, tas we start forming na pataas na, di ba? Mabasag natin tong 2.34. The new high na naman tayo, and as always, bagong price exploration na naman. We don't know what it's gonna reach for from there. All we can do is watch. Okay? Kung may hawak kayo, tas di pa kayo na stop out, then of course, congratulations. If na stop out na kayo and kumita naman kayo, congratulations din, no? Hindi mahalaga kung alin yung nangyari sa inyo. Ang mahalaga, sinundan nyo yung rules nyo. Diba? A lot of people always say na, sayang dapat di ko muna binenta o mga papala. Paano mo malalaman na aangat pa pala? <laughs> ba? Diba? Wala naman po tayong insider information. I mean, if you did, if you had insider information, or for some reason, alam nyo, natataas pa, 100% sure, tapos binenta nyo pa rin, ayun, mali talaga kayo. Pero kung sumunod lang kayo sa plano nyo, ba? Diba? Sumunod kayo sa rules nyo, tapos tumaas pa, it's nothing to, you know, it's nothing to be sad about. It's nothing to regret. Kasi sinundan lang natin yung rules natin eh. Diba? You can't always sell at the top. It just doesn't work that way. As much na you can't always buy at the bottom. Alright? So guys, dito po nagtatapos yung video natin. No? I hope kahit pa paano nakatulong po ito sa inyo. Or at least uh, may natutunan kayo. And as always guys, maraming maraming salamat po sa panonood. I really really appreciate it. Good luck and happy trading.